What's going on, guys? Steve here with Cherry Picking Cards. Hope you're having a great day so far. I am back with some more Optic Basketball. Super excited. We got round five of an Optic break. I'm continuing to do some of the hanger packs, those cellos or the cellos, as I like to call them, of course. And I've, you know, Optic has definitely treated me right so far this season. I haven't, unfortunately, as you guys all know, gotten a Zion or a Jaw base. I did get a Jaw My House insert on the last break, which I'm very excited about. And normally I'd put that best hit from the previous break up here on the, the background. But um, the last break, unfortunately, just couldn't quite top what the hits I've gotten so far. That's an auto and a checkerboard, which are definitely really uncommon with optics, especially the checkerboards. Unfortunately, they're not. It's not of a rookie on either one. I don't believe Elise Johnson. I still haven't quite done my research. I'm not sure what he is, if he's a rookie or not. But he could be. I just don't. He's not a big name, unfortunately. But... Two of the better hits, in my opinions, and I want to keep those guys up in the background, see if they can bring us some good luck. I'm going to open up two of these hangers here. I've been kind of working my way, grabbing one on each side, so we're going to continue with that, and we'll leave the last two in the middle. But with these, as you all know, my favorite parallels, the blue velocity. You get three in each pack, 15 cards in each one of these, and so you're going to get four, or excuse me, three regular packs with four cards in each. And then a three-pack of this white one back here, which is all velocities that are blue. I'm going to open these up back here since it's a little loud. And like always, we'll keep the velocities, save the best for last there. I think Optic honestly be, might be my favorite uh, Panini product. I've actually, um, you know, Prism, of course, is the one I think is kind of has a little bit more value to it. But Optic, I just, I'm a sucker for that rated rookie logo. I really, really like the variations they offer. You know, Prism seems to have kind of a very similar style, just mixing up the color. Whereas with these ones, they do have those, you know, different colors and variations. But they have so many different inserts that I really like. And there's just, just some really great stuff. So kind of that Prism 2.0, if you will. But I'm really excited to continue to with, open up some of the Optic Basketball. Um, by far my favorite product, though, for sure. And with this year's product versus last year, I think it looks really similar, in my opinion. So it's hard to really say that it, you know one's better than the other. You know, so I'm just thumbs up you know, to Optic all around. And we're going to start it off with a rookie. See if that's a good sign of things to come. Jalen Noel. Colin Sexton. We got a winner stays LeBron for the Heat. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure. I haven't really done my research on the winner stays. I don't think it's really, you know, anybody on the or current teams. It seems like, you know, it's guys like Shaq for the Lakers, things like that. Tomb. So I'm actually just going to take a quick peek, you know, at the back of these just to kind of see. That's kind of cool. See, it just kind of gives you a little background of, you know, maybe what was going on during that season or something. That's pretty cool. The winter stays, and of course, you can get those in all the different color variations, and you can get them numbered. And we're starting off with another rookie. We got Jordan Poole of the Warriors. This guy's coming on super strong, and that man. I, the only thing I don't like is all that little cardboard dust that kind of falls off, as you guys can see. Though that really stands out, but easy to clean off. Got an insert in here. We got a Mikael Bridges insert. Um, nice. I don't have this one, so I think I'm gonna definitely try to collect this whole set. The T minus three, two, one. I think the My House. I really, really like it. it. It's up there with my favorites, but I really like this one. I think it's a little bit underappreciated in my opinion. And it just looks so sick. The back. I think it's like a control panel or something. Pretty cool looking. So, yeah. It's kind of Blasting off T minus three, two, one. Having another insane season. And then this guy, Giannis. Man, these, these guys are just amazing. They don't have, you know, the two or three or four, you know, superstars. They've got some really good guys in the team, Chris Middleton, but this this guy is just the most consistent dude in the league. Carrying that team. I mean they've got they got a good squad, but yeah, he's just man. Just, just a stud. He used to lose, I like it. So we've got Taco. We want Taco. I'm super stoked to pull this, honestly. 
I kind of forgot about this one being offered. This is the first thing that he was offered, um, besides maybe the Panini Instant cards they offer, but you know, the, the retail packs and stuff like that. Taco was not in anything until Optic. So that's the other thing, Optic is released later in the season, so they get a chance to add guys like Kendrick Nunn, who wasn't anything either, and a guy like Taco Fall, and there's other ones. Um, I forget the, the guy guy for the Wizards. But yeah, really cool, he better pull Taco Fall. Oh my God, Joe Harris. And then, I believe, is this the purple? Yep, the purple of Joe Dumars. The winner stays, that's a pretty cool looking card for sure. And dream on. And got the prison down there. So the goal was to still pull a Zion or a Jaw of any kind. And I really, of course, you know, check a border autos all day, but I would love to be able to see one of the number cards. I've watched a lot of breaks and haven't really seen any of the number cards get pulled. So clearly they made a lot of optic and they, there's just there's not a lot of those numbered cards. Jeremy Lamb. Hi, Jerome. Express Lane, Deer and Fox. The Mitch. Man, it's like a card from the 70s or just the, the dunk. <laughs> I guess it's the hairdo. All right. Keep it going. Nasir Little, not bad, not bad. Some potential there with him for sure. Winner stays, Tony Parker. And then Montrez Harrell, all right. And then last regular pack here. Last pack mojo. We get former Jayhawk Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins. Nice. Cam Reddish. I have pulled him this year, but always nice to pull, be able to pull another one. That's for sure. Looks like we got a purple. Guessing it's not a rookie, especially with the rookie being right here. Nope. Al Horford, but still a pretty cool card, especially being that, that, that Sixers jersey. It's purple, but it does have kind of a, almost a blue tint to it. And then just that hologram finish, just so nasty. So, Bogdan Bogdanovich. All right, so on to my favorite ones, the blue parallels. All right, I'm gonna open these up here. I'm trying not to look, and I apologize for bumping the camera. Try not to actually look and expose too much. But we got a Dwight Powell there. So with these three cards, and you like, you can clearly see through these packs pretty easily when you open them up the first thing you see is that name on the back so I try not to let it spoil too much for me I want to be just as surprised as you guys we started with a pal move on to Rogier and then, and that one with a uh, DeJounte Murray so seems like for my luck it's been kind of the first go around I each one of these I had one rated rookie per pack the second go around none in each pack or I think maybe one uh one didn't have any but but yeah, it's just in the third, in the last video, I did get one in each pack. So as you can tell, you're definitely not guaranteed a rookie in these blue velocity packs. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, I do see something good though. I did get a little peek there. Randall, Schroeder, and then this guy. Nice. That is a good one to pull for sure. Kobe White. One of Roy's boys from the UNC. So I'm pretty excited to pull that. Any of these rookies, and I'm definitely starting to get more and more going. The last video I pulled Jarrett Culver, which was one of my favorite ones for sure. But this guy, Culver, I wanted to go to the Bulls because he's my favorite team, but this is the guy that went there. But he's still such a solid player and tons of potential. They're getting a pretty good team out there for Chicago. And then that doesn't show it in the wins column, but they're they're working on it. But I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know uh, if you've had any big hits for Optus this year. I've um, opened up quite a bit so far. Not a ton compared to you know many people, but a, a fair chunk, of course, this is about our fifth video already. And as you can see, these are probably still my two best hits. These guys back here, the auto and the checkerboard. You can't really top those. 
those ones. And then, so we'll go into a quick recap of our bigger hits, though. And, oh, man, it looks like there's a big old scratch on the Kobe White, though. That stinks. Maybe, well, we'll see if we can. And I try to clean up the cards as much as I can, but yeah, you can see that might be one of those little print lines. Dang. So I've definitely heard of those, but never actually experienced one myself. And that might just be their big scratch on it or one of those print lines. But I'll double check. We got a Kobe, Al Horford, Purple. Cam Reddish, Sear Little, Todd Jerome, got a purple, Winter Stays, Taco. This one I'm probably the most excited about in addition to the Kobe White. Didn't have this guy in my set yet. And like I said earlier, he's not offered in anything really. And so to be able to get one, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. So I'll get him sleeved and top loaded up. Jordan Poole. And Jalen Newell. So got some more rookies to add to the set there, trying to get as many as we can. Still got to get John Zion, though. Haven't quite got those guys yet. I appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, take it easy.